Ponte have any reaction to the Jalen Rager trade? Uh, Jalen Rager trade? Uh, I just seen it. But, um, yeah, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't really expect it to happen like that. But you know, it, things happen. It's a business, and you know, I expect. I hope the best for him, and I know he do good. When Jonathan Gannon was talking about Josiah playing safety earlier this summer, he said there's 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 a there's basically carryover from the slot spot to the safety spot in this defense. Playing the slot spot, how do you see that being the case? Uh, I mean, well, Josiah been doing very well. I mean, he's been learning. He's been learning nickel, and he's been learning safety spot, and. You know, Josiah's a ball player, so, you know, it, things can happen at the nickel spot where, you know, there's a little changeable pieces. But at the end of the day, you know, he's got a smart player there, and he's able to – he's capable of learning it both. And, you know, that's the good thing about him. But, but like, from a scheme perspective, though, is, is, is slot and safety very similar? I mean, I mean, in some calls, yes, yeah, some point. But other than that, not really. <laughs> Trade for uh, Gardner Johnson. Uh, CD, he's a, he's a dog. I mean, you know, I seen it today. You know, first day out there, and he he got his hand on a, on a pass breakup. So, you know, I'm excited to have him. Definitely a dog back there in the back end, and you know, I can't wait to play with him. Got a lot of snaps, I think, in the slot down in New Orleans. Um, how, and you've played safety here before. I mean, how how is that transition? How difficult is that going to be to kind of come in and hit the ground running? Uh, I feel like it won't be too difficult. I mean, he's he's definitely a ball player. Um, he coming in, and he's asking questions right away, right at it. And you know, with our back end and, and our group, this group that we have in the back end, you know, we're all for giving people the right answers, the correct answers. And you know, as he got in here, he's 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 head down, nose ready to work, ready to learn. And you know, I've I've done it before, from nickel to safety, safety to nickel. I mean, it goes back and forth. But at the same end of the day, you know, he's a smart football player. So. He knows the um, defense as he as when he get in here. He's just going to have to learn it as fast as he can, and we're here to help him. And he's been doing a great job so far. Avante, what's the biggest adjustment of, of going to safety? Like what's biggest the, adjustment. What's the biggest thing that you have to kind of work through? Uh, it's not. I mean, you just got different landmarks on the field. You know, it's, it's you know you're not. Sometimes you're down in the box, and sometimes you're back. You know, you just got to be able to rotate in certain ways. And you know, you and most of the time you probably won't be. Guarding the slot, at it. and most of the day you got to be you guarding bigger tight ends. So you know, for me myself, you know they're more bigger than me. So at the end of the day, I know I just got to be more physical at the line or for anything like that. But I mean, it's not it's 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 definitely a big difference. I mean, you got to make a lot more open field tackles if you're a free safety, things like that in that nature. So it's not it's not too big of a difference, but it's a lot. You see the whole field now, like you back there, you see and everything instead of you just you on the left side and you on the right side. You know, got a better vision. Do you remember uh, CJ's uh, PBU was against Dallas? Or? Uh, I'm not sure who it was against, but I know he he broke out of the <laughs> he broke from his field and he he got his hand on it. So definitely, definitely, definitely a great player. I mean, I've been watching him for since he was with the Saints, and you know, definitely a definitely a ball player. Is, is terminology different to making that slot, is, uh, cornerback to safety transition? Is, and you talk about some of the differences, but is terminology uh, different as well? Terminology, as in, just, just in terms of you know the calls and you know, where you have to be. Oh well, yeah, of course. <laughs> I mean, nickel. You're not you're not gonna plan safety. You're not gonna be where the nickel is. It just it all depends on whatever is being called. You know, and if it's if it's if it's here or there. Like you know, it's, it's, it all depends. It all depends on the call. That's all I can say for real. Like uh, when JG says slot and safety near each other at times, what what is he trying to say? What, from your yeah, that's what I mean. So like, it all depends on the call. So like, it, it could be this on that side and that on that side. But at the same time, you know, you might have, for example, cover one. Like, if it's cover one, I'm checking the slot over here. He's manned up against the tight end. So it's like we're mirroring each other there. You know, if it's whatever else he called, it, it could be a mirror defense. You never know. So that's what I, that's that's what he mean by probably mirroring back and forth. But at the end of the day, it's two different, completely different positions. But you just got to make a lot more tackles within it. Within it. You know, safety being down in the box, you got to make tackles. And nickel being down in the box, you got to make tackles. What kind of challenge kind does of it present when – How much does he help you guys match up? You know, you, you mentioned earlier that he might be able to guard bigger tight ends and obviously you can handle smaller, quicker slot receivers. I guess how much does he help you when you guys do go into, like, single high or you want to, like, you know, go into man coverage? I can guard big tight ends too. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I make it – he's just – like I said, it makes it better. I mean, he can guard anyone. He can guard the smaller guys too. So, it really doesn't matter. I've seen him do it. Like I said, he, he played down there and, 
you know, he it, it just makes it it makes it a lot easier. You know, when you got you got guys that can cover running, you don't have to really rotate and make sure somebody's here, make sure somebody's there. You know, you just go out there and play ball at that point. Um, and right along with Epps, like Epps can he can guard who anybody ever slot or or tight end. So, you know, that's the good thing about it. You know, you got guys that that can can do it all. What kind of challenge does it present when a team kind of rotates their slot receivers and their different body types, different styles within the same game for you? Uh, you said challenge. Yeah, what kind of challenge is it? Uh, I mean, it, it's not really a challenge for the most part. I mean, you just got to know where your help is for the most part when you're in the slot, you know, because you got a bigger route tree almost than the outside. You know, you got guys can go in, out, over, deep over, upfield, straight. So, you know, you just got to know where your help is when you're in the slot. And, you know, when you got the bigger guys, you ain't got to really – you just got to be more physical than them guys. They're not really outrunning you unless you got someone that's big and fast. But other than that – you know, you just got to know where your help is at the slot. And that's what i kind of been working on, you know, just knowing where my help is. Eyes is always number one. But at the end of the day, I feel like it's not really a change. The only time you got to really – things get tricky and paying attention to things is when moving pieces start moving from motioning and things like that. You got to know if it's jet or if it's regular. So. Take a couple more. Monte, um, obviously, during the offseason, you guys made a lot of changes on defense. I mean, that, you know, continued right up until – Yesterday, how much better do you see this? I mean, how much better do you think this defense can be than like the other defenses that you've been a part of, you know, in your four years here? Uh, I mean, we got the opportunity to be really good. I mean, we just got to make it happen. You know, work together. You know, obviously, I wish we could have kept everyone on the defensive side of the ball this year, but you know, the door is not closed. I mean, it's not closed, but you know, they're moving on to better things, and hopefully, they get everything done. But with the pieces we have inside our room. You know, I'm excited to work out and play with them and, you know, learn with them and, you know, go through this, this long season with them. And, you know, I feel like good things can come because, you know, we all out there to, to make each other better. We always compete. We hold each other accountable. And, you know, that's the biggest thing. How was Anthony Harris handled going from being a starter to now being on the practice squad? Uh, I, mean, I haven't talked to him about that, but, you know, I know Ant is a positive guy. Um, he, he always been positive since he stepped in this building and, you know, like I said, you know, and is a hard worker, and I know it's always going to be good for him. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.